Okay, that's a good amount of stuff over there, though. I'm gonna remake Darwin here soon enough. Yeah, we have another probe available. I haven't actually gotten tired at all yet of the background music, guys. How weird is that? I guess I should also get this, right? There's a good chance I'm going to be able to complete my other quest in that area, because we do need more people. I'm assuming I also eat more food, but food has actually been very easy to deal with. I'm surprised with how easy food has been. Up to this point, anyways. You can just put down an insect farm and it takes up a bunch of space, but... Okay. So I should be able to remake Darwin. Yep. Tesla? We're definitely not calling you Tesla. Can I rename you? I miss Darwin. Oh no, chat. My new science ship may be called Tesla rather than Darwin. Has occurred in the oh, no. Rest in pieces, Darwin. Dismantle it or rebuild it again. <laughs> Just rebuild until you get the right name. Reasonable. Should I make another one of those ships? Another one of those cargo ships? Oh, there are actually quite a few resources ready for collection. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be building the... Um I'm gonna be building... Wait, is it 25 to build one of those? How much do these cost? Oh yeah, science ship is five more expensive, I see. I got lots of collecting to do, yeah. But I think I should probably follow the main quest instead. So the main quest is asking me to build a... Vol Engine Class Ixion. I need a lot more of these things for it. 30. Plus I actually need two electronics. I don't have any electronics. So I can make an electronics by researching in the technology tree. But I think it was like 10, ele like 10, car or 10 polymers for every electronic. I'm not sure. The ratio was kind of nuts. Oh no, it's silicon. It's silicon for electronics. Oh, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Okay, well, we'll have to research that, I guess. May as well. I did just get the alternative life thingamajig. That requires one of these things, though. Maybe I should destroy one of these things to get one of them back. People aren't all too happy here. Hmm. I haven't seen any silicon anywhere. Look at the little silicon thing. It's just not moving. Is there any silicon in this area? Oh, well there is. Just have to be precise, I guess. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 
That's actually really nice. There's a couple of those ready for collection. Apparently. Nice. Got a lot of collecting to do. Okay, we're stable, right? Like, I mean, I, I've been playing now for a good amount of hours. I haven't filled yet. I am pretty sure that we are in a stable position here. I can upgrade my exterior here of the ship with the Axiom thing. I think that allows me to boost to another solar system if I want to. And we may very well need to at some point. I mean, I feel like we're doing all right. But I don't know. Yeah, so I guess we'll see later this week. Guys, guys, guys. I'm, I'm actually going to play a video game today. I know I've been talking about unrelated stuff for like the better part of 45 minutes. But today we're going back to the tycoon. I started playing this game two days ago and it's honestly been a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying it. Um... Okay, this is the one we're loading. So this is a strategic city builder that kind of reminds me a little bit of Frostpunk. In the sense that you um, have to make morally questionable choices. But it's very tricky. Like, I am fully expecting to fail, but so far I honestly have been doing alright. Which is probably not gonna last too long. I've played for a good chunk of hours at this point. I've learned quite a bit. I do think I'll probably fail here before too long. Um, now, I would give you a proper rundown of the game, but I honestly don't really know very much myself. So this is a bit of an issue. Um, I think I'm doing all right, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Okay, so this is where we are. We are on a place called the Tycoon. The Tycoon is a, a space station over here. Humanity is long gone. The only place we still exist on is right over here on the Tycoon. I can, well, construct things right here on the outside of the Tycoon. So, for example, I've been upgrading my solar panels and that gives me additional power. I can put up a Vol Engine Class Ixion. Uh, this is what we found some time ago. Um, this is actually one of my main quests right now. You can see that in the top left corner. And this allows me to, yeah, add more stuff to it. And it actually, like, updates as well visually. So it looks different. Um, we started off with this space station hanging around the Earth. Then we moved it to the moon. Moon, by the way, not doing so hot. We'll talk about that sometime later. And we have now recently moved it to Jupiter instead. So we have the exterior view. We've got the planetary map for me to move stuff around. We're harvesting resources right here that are listed at the top of the screen by sending mining robots around. And, and we obviously also have scouting drones and different kinds of things to probe around. Um, for example, we've been probing your... No, 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 we have no. But we're not already starting yet. Um, other than that, this is the inside of the ship. This is where we seem to spend most of our time. Pretty self-explanatory. We've got stockpiles over here. Or, well, we've got stockpiles over here that store our different resources. We've got insect farms over here to produce food. We've got a um, cryonic center. The cryonic center allows us to convert cryonic pods into humans. So sometimes we find cryonic parts, or, or pods rather. I don't really know how that works, but it's okay. Um, we just find them and then they're sent over here and we, we you know, we hang out. Um, we've got like statues and different things. This is, this is where the crew lives. So in this particular area, we have 265 people hanging out. We have, oh no, we have 229 people hanging out, 265, or 229 workers rather and 36 non-workers. Anyways, long story short, we got a bunch of people. Um, now what's cool about this game is that we have multiple sectors. So initially we just had this space. However, we also have sector two now unlocked and sector two has a different specialization. So I am not producing any food in sector two. All of this is uh, produced in sector one and we're shipping that back and forth. They seem to be completely isolated from one another, although you can send resources from one end to the next. So, place number one over here, sector number one is converting iron to alloy. Essentially everything I find, um, or at least everything I research over here in the tech tree, everything seems to require alloy. So I am converting iron that we're finding out in space into alloy. And then I've set it up in the second place over here. Uh, to do a similar thing for carbon. So we are moving carbon um, into polymer right here. 
And that's essentially where we ended. I mean, I don't really have that much done, I suppose, right? I maybe should have achieved a little bit more, but... One thing I'm noticing right from the start, though, is the fact that I have... A lot of pods over here. So currently, this is my docking bay over here. I've got a docking bay on the other end as well. This is where the ships come and go. Um, this docking bay apparently has 60 cryonic pods. And I have no place for those cryonic pods to go. So I've set it up in such a way that any cryonic pod that we get... No, I haven't set that up yet, so we should set that up. Any cryonic pod I set, I want minimum in this area. And I want maximum stored in sector 1. Because in sector 1, we've got our cryonic center that, like... Yeah, wakes up the people in those pods. I'm still pretty early in the game, I'm sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm taking it easy. It's been a lot of fun so far, though. I'm enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and make two more of these things. And then we'll go from there. So we have a bunch of machines driving out here. Um, currently, everyone in Sector 2 is overworked because I don't have enough people. So I need 89 workers and I have 51. This is the hull integrity. Apparently, when that one reaches zero, um, the hull is not going to do so well. But, yeah. So, connect the Ixion engine to the Tycoon. So, the Tycoon is the ship and the Ixion engine is something we found. Via the construction panel in the exterior view. So, this is one of my quests right now. That is this thing right over here. So, I need a little bit more in order to yeah, set this up, but... If I start that, the hull repair is no longer going to continue onwards. And I still need a little bit more of the polymer. So I think we'll be okay. I might cycle 248. Don't know if that's far along at all. Probably not. But I'm taking it easy, man. We're, we're not really rushing our way through this. I've been enjoying it a lot. So may as well continue onwards. Um, okay, so we need to send those resources over. I'm going to go ahead and set up... A storage right here for Quranic Pots, and then Quranic Pots are still gonna go there. Uh, this is still my first run, yes. I have unlocked the Alternative Life Center. Alternative Life Center. Yeah, that's this thing right over here. Provides stability in the sector. So, stability seems to be important, but... There's quite a few resources and things to understand, though, in this game, so... I think as long as people aren't too negative, it's okay. So this is my trust bar over here. I am the administrator of the ship, and people trust me 100%. They fucking love me, man. Yeah. Reaching 0% will result in mutiny. Not a problem. Not a problem. We, we have plenty of food. Not a problem either, so, you know. Feeling pretty good about myself. A workshop has been disabled. What's going on here? What are you guys doing? Two crew members were... Ac okay, yeah. There's a lot of accidents going on lately. Which uh, is kind of rough, man. Don't know why you guys are... Uh, not being more careful, but... Do you have a degree to manage this? No. I just bullshitted my way through the interview. Or through the interview and nobody asked any questions. A probe has completed its scan. Okay, so we did scout another area of the map. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the silicon one. So I have a, a fleet button here at the bottom. So I've got a couple mining ships and I've got a couple cargo ships. Yeah, we definitely want to be refining the silicon. So we're going to be bringing the silicon um, with a ship called the Bulwark back towards the base. Which is going to arrive in Sector 2. And in Sector 2, we already set up a facility here. I think, somewhere, didn't we? Is it this one? Nope. I thought I already set one up. Maybe I didn't. Um... Oh, I didn't get the research for it yet. Is that the problem? Oh, yeah, yeah. The electronics factory. This is what we want to build. So this allows us to transform 30 silicon into one electronic every three cycles. So it's not fast, but we only have two electronics here in total anyways. Um, I do want this one. 
moved over there. So I want to be moving this one over. Just moving it from one. To the other. I have zero silicon. Yeah, yeah, but we're starting to get that in right now. Pa 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 pa. Okay, so yeah, now those uh, chronic pods are being unloaded, descend over here, and then transferred right here to the first sector. You can't rename your ships. No, I had a, a ship called the Darwin, and then I had to uh, disassemble it because I needed the tools. And now I have a ship called Tesla instead. Way less cool. Pick this game up after watching your stream. It's super fun. Gaben! Gabe, Gaben, where's my affiliate link? Gaben! Gaben doesn't give me any affiliate links, dude. I should be getting at least 10% of that, Gaben. Anyways, thank you very much, James, for the 13 months. <sighs> Gaben does not live with me. No, no. Gaben clearly needs the money, okay, guys? How much is Gaben's net worth? It's not big enough, is what I'm saying. Um, I need more... everything. Go on, Crakes. Thank you. I've just woken from my cryopod after 30 months. For some reason, Administrator Loco wants me to crawl into and repair the reactor. Yes. What could possibly go wrong? Get it done. No more questions, Craigs. Thank you for the support, dude. Loco, do you know why astronauts use MacBooks? Because you can't open windows on the ISS. Thank you, Maktavas, for the 300 bits. I mean, you can try. You can try, but... Risky move. Uh, yeah, we do have one of our uh, one of our ships called uh, Arnold right here, dude. He's hanging out. Every time he leaves, he, he goes, I'll be back. Which is nice. He does a lot of mining, but there's honestly not that much mining right now in the first place. Um, I should probably make another one of those things. Uh, can I actually just set it up real quick? To... Because I now have enough. Uh, pull him here. We can have like 50 over here. And then I want to have like 25 over here. I think that'll be fine. Um, Because I do want to make another one of these ships if I can. I think that'll be helpful. Okay, so we need to make sure that we make our Ixion thing. Has occurred in the tycoon. Don't care. Okay, we're starting that one up. I hope my hull integrity is big enough. Oh no, I'm just I'm just hoarding everything, Heartnipper. I know I can disable resources I don't want, but I feel like I should just hoard all of the things. Hoarding is 100% the way to do it, dude. Some people don't hoard literally every single item in any video game they get. AKA crazy people. No, you're probably right, but I don't really know exactly what I need to be hoarding, so I'm just grabbing everything and I'm storing all of it. So far, every time I needed a new resource, it's always been there for me, so I want it to be the case, you know? I think him surviving to cycle 255 on a first try is amazing. Yo, Cory! Guys, Cory just gave me a compliment. I'm not used to that. Streamer getting compliment about good gameplay? What? I'm feeling all fuzzy inside. I don't think it's supposed to happen, dude. Anyways, uh, we're currently making our thing on the outside. It's done. A new administrator. We are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using the frequencies recovered from Outer Hope's black box. 
Vol systems have been adapted for the new Ixian class engine. Ooh. The Tycoon is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Okay. So, we can perform a Vol jump to reach the Protagoras. So, I do still have a side quest over here for 500 of those pots, but I haven't found them all. I don't think I want to bother with that. That sounds like a long time. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the Ixion engine. All power from the main grid will be diverted into the engine. Yes. And we're gonna boost. So last time I boosted, um, for those of you that weren't here, I, you know, this happens, okay? Mistakes can sometimes be made, and usually it's an accident, right? I mean, I personally uh, have never <clears throat> had any bad things happen at all, not even earlier today when I accidentally tipped over a tripod and um, put a really big smudge on a wall that Laurent just finished painting yesterday. I, I Personally, to me, that never happens. That's just a specific example of something that definitely did not happen. Um... Last time, however, that we boosted away using uh, the engine, I accidentally blew up the moon. Yeah. Sure. Let's do it. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the tycoon before Volt jump initiation. Could have could have happened to anyone. Well, we're currently close to Jupiter, so at least we won't be blowing up Uranus. But I don't I think Jupiter is probably too big anyways. Plus it's a gas giant, right? So we should be fine. Alright, everybody, come home. Ixian engine ready. I mean there's a thing. Okay, fine, let's do it. Thank you, Games and Sermons. Remus, the twin planet of Romulus. Yeah, man. We're starting the Roman Empire up once again. We need those wolves, don't we? I think we need those big wolves. So this is us doing faster than light travel, guys. I think this actually starts up a new chapter in the game. Oh, Brian is a bit of a sellout, uh, Games and Sermons. He only does text-to-speech for three bucks. I'm really liking this game, guys. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's good? But the Steam review said it wasn't that good because it was too hard. Full jump complete. <laughs> Running preliminary diagnostics. A bunch of people left negative reviews on this game because they couldn't do it. Has been detected following self-similar traversal. Hypothesis: Each vol jump causes irreversible damage to the tycoon structure. Predictive modeling suggests that four more vol jumps are possible before the tycoon breaks apart. Oh. New mission objective established. The Protagoras possesses coordinates of the habitable exoplanet Remus. We so, must find the Protagoras in order to reach our destination. So if I were to have to do a restart, right? Do I start again in the first chapter? Or could I restart here in chapter 3 instead? Or whatever chapter this is. Do you start all the way back at the beginning? Yeah, I know you can restart the chapter. But then I think I'm put back into this spot right here. You do mostly restart then a chapter one. I see, I see. Yeah, because I don't really like restarting a chapter unless I know exactly what I'm doing wrong, but... Tutorial for space weather. Okay. In the planetary systems you will travel to, large-scale weather events can occur. Navigating through them can prove challenging and they may have an impact on the tycoon and its fleet. Factorio is 30 bucks and Ixion is 35. Which one do you get? You should definitely get Factorio if you have to make a choice between those two. 
Factorio is one of the classics. I mean, I know it's only been out officially for a little while now, but Factorio is one of the S-tier games. The tycoon has left the solar system. The crew is convinced that they will never see the stars that... Okay, the necessary step... Well, okay. More stability. Problems. Nihei protocols are online. Stanford checks have been passed. The Exion engine is fully integrated with tycoon systems and we are ready for ignition. Volt jump coordinates can only be generated by computational machinery utilizing the Frau's tachyons. Big words, dude. We have jump coordinates to reach the last known location of the Protagoras. Okay. So I need to train 30 colonists. Locate a viable planet. Oh, the actual other side quest is still here as well. That's funny. Okay, let's have a look at where we're at. Ooh. Cool. Um, do I have any pots or probes? Because I really do need them. So I guess I can't go into this stuff, huh? Even though it seems like my quest objective may very well be leading me there. I don't really need ice. I need iron. I think I should avoid bad weather, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just... I accidentally clicked. I did not... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sensors have picked up some unusual readings on the surface of Falcon 74. Sending a team to investigate may allow us to learn more about the mysteries of the universe. Waiting for a science ship. Okay, right. So I have the Tesla over here. You can go and check out Falcon 74. Go ahead. That one will fly on over there. We'll be making another one of our polymers or another one of our probes soon enough. So the science ship has already made it. This is the Tesla's crew. We have landed on Falcon 74. Gravity is approximately four and a half meters. The atmosphere is corrosive. Without shelter, we estimate our survival time to be two hours and 27 minutes. At the site of the unusual readings, we found a huge geyser emitting gas. We found a gas geyser? Yo! Sweet. Uh, that quickly solidifies into cubic particles upon exposure to the planet's atmosphere. Yeah, we should build an assimilator on top of that. Oh, I'm gonna need some, uh, some iron. Or alloy. I think I'll probably do all three of these at some point. Yeah. I'll start with the first one. I just need a ton of alloy, guys. I don't know how to get more alloy. Like, I am refining all of my iron. I mean, and now I could maybe, like, hmm, remove one of them. I'm not sure. Loco, I had something that I did not know in my first playthrough, and it killed my run. Uh, sure, go ahead, Papooch. Yeah, thank you for asking, by the way. If you made a stupid mistake that you wish you didn't make. If you have a suggestion, I'm taking it. <laughs> okay, so this one is almost finished. Yeah, so I need I need to mine a lot of FE. Team has completed a task. Just to make sure, right? You guys are producing another probe. Yes, they are. Let's <laughs> go down, Bugilus. It seems that the detonation was more powerful than expected. Our team was prepared for this outcome as no human or material losses have been reported. The results of the analysis have given insight into the guy's information and the unusual precipitation that it causes. Okay, leave it. A new request awaits your attention. They're collecting science now. Don't go through the bad weather, okay? Okay, we'll be sending a probe over there. I think that's good. Did we already make one? Yeah, we already did make another one. So we're currently producing one called the Grill. 
So the grill is also going to be in charge of getting a bunch of stuff done. Now we have the electronics uh, facility done. I'll be making that over here. That's a cool looking structure, by the way. It's really skinny, but... I think over here is the spot. Right. Through research, you will be able to produce food in a number of ways. Um, so people are really overworked in this sector right now. We really need to be sending people towards sector two. You can upgrade your lab to generate a small amount of science because you never get enough with the one you find in space. It's one science every five cycles, but then it becomes more interesting. So I know this is randomly producing one every 30 cycles. So you're saying I should be upgrading the science lab itself? Or the tech lab? Um... How would I do that? It's the second row on the right. Second ring left. Oh, well, this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mad Max just told me it was... On the that's okay, that's okay. Um, increases the production of science to three units every five cycles. So this is what you're recommending for my first upgrade. Yeah, person or research speed is not important. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you might... Okay, so passively improving that from one every 30 to three every five sounds really good. Yeah, especially since this is the first time I can get it. I will get that. Thank you for the suggestion. Well, it's not really hidden, but I can imagine I wouldn't be reading literally every single one of those things. <sighs> Thanks, dude. Um, I am not actually finding enough alloy in general, guys. I, I, I really do need a lot more. You need alloy for everything. I'm actually kind of excited for me to fail miserably and restart. <laughs> Is that stupid? I feel like that's stupid, but... I kind of want to fail and restart, guys, just so I can do it all over again and do it slightly better next time. I'm doing all right right now, right? But I feel like my structures and stuff should be a little bit differently, but that's okay. Just let chat choose your next moves. If I let chat choose my next moves, we'd be here forever, man, because Twitch chat never fails. <clears throat> no, 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 we're not going to restart from scratch right now. I'll restart when I fail. Okay, um, well, this is where we need to go. Go ahead, little probe. I could also just destroy all my structures and redo all of this, but that seems like a lot of effort. A probe has completed its scan, okay. No, you haven't. Fake news. Yeah, so I don't have enough alloy to continuously repair. And this is one of the problems. I need a ton of alloy to continuously repair. So I just I just lose a lot just to that. So I, I need a ton of... Like, I don't know how to improve my hull integrity if I don't have enough alloy. But every alloy I get goes to the repairing of the hull and then it continuously breaks again. So I'm not sure what the best order of business is. What little I get, I sometimes use on structures, but it always really slow down the game a lot. It's good on Mr. Steel. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for making me buy yet another stupid game. I'll know life for three days. Gaben! <laughs> Gaben, I got another one! Thank you, Doe, for the nine months. <laughs> Fucking Gaben, man. Gabe Newell net worth. 
Estimated to be at a net worth of about four billion. Come on, Gaben! You really don't need any more! You're 60 years old too, man. You're fine. You got enough. If he really needs more money, he can just introduce a new hat in Team Fortress 2. He can just buy a new house off of it. Anyway. Uh, a probe has completed the scan and discovered a new point of interest. Okay. Fargo 39. That's a good show, uh, that's a good show dude. Have you guys seen Fargo? That's a damn good show. Probe scans have uh, picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a Dolo's frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different than the one used at Takut and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation of the high winds of Fargo 39 has given us a clear zone in which to operate. Send forth the science ship. Go. Money doesn't make you happy. I feel like... Um, Having six billion is better than having, you know, no money, though. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> six billion might be a little much, though. I have no fucking clue what you would do with six billion, but... Point still stands. No money doesn't make me happy, but it sure does help. You're not wrong, dude. Thank you very much, Archival. I could go and, like, for, for, well, for six billion, you can't just go out and buy Twitter. But at this rate, you can buy Facebook soon. What do you call a lazy man in space? A procrastinaut. And one for the weeds. What do you get if you send an anime fan to one of Saturn's moons? What do you get if you send an anime fan to one of Saturn's moons? I don't know. For the weebs. There are no weebs on this channel. Attack on Titan? Oh, there you go. See, I don't I don't watch anime. Money can buy Dyson vacuums and Dyson vacuums are happiness. Yeah. Is there a direct correlation between happiness and Dyson vacuum cleaners? I feel like that's right. Administrator, crew members are worried about the number of hazards. They would like reassurance that exploration of the Immortan system will be conducted safely. Promise that no member of a science ship team will die in the... In <laughs> no. Definitely not promising that. Promise that science ship casualty will not be right. Blah, 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 blah. I promise nothing. Shut the fuck up. That's what I promise you. Sorry, sorry, it was a bit mean, but it was fair. Oh god. How did I want? Like they're the ones making the mistakes, not me. Why are they? It makes no sense. Makes no sense, dude. Okay, so that was my battery, by the way. Overworking is bad. Yeah, yeah, I found that out the hard way. So now I finally, for the very first time, have an optimal amount of workers here. For this place, I am at about 50% of the workers. So we really need to uh, get more humans. Breed them faster, please. So sector one has a population limit of like... 300. Sector 2 at this point, I should probably set up about... A science ship has arrived at its destination. I don't know, we'll set up like 150 over there, so that way we should be good. Alright. DOG. <laughs> Summary of the intelligence on... Okay, yeah, so we need to send one over there momentarily. The Tesla ship has arrived over in this area too. Probe scan has picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a dollar's frequency. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to uh, descent and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense and several of our measuring instruments have failed. 
Despite the extremely hostile environment, we are preparing to make a sortie to the signal location. That requires exoskeletons, which I don't have. The entire crew equipped with standard issue hazard gear will be sent there. I will send a small team. I don't want to lose the whole team. A couple people. Yeah. We got, we got, we, we have some cryo. Oh, we can, yeah, uh, a couple people. I need more iron. Iron. There has to be iron close by, dude. No, not silicon. How do I have so little iron? I mean, if I if I send it all the way there, it's gonna take forever too. Uh, for those of you familiar with the game, am I doing something wrong as far as the scanning goes? Because it's kind of a pain in the dick. I mean, I've only done it for a little bit so far, but like, it's kind of, you know, annoying. It was fun the first seven times, but gotta be patient with probing. Okay, so you recommend being patient with probing. I see. Yeah, I guess doing it systematically might be a decent way of doing it. Yeah, that's a problem, man. Never patient enough when probing. Okay, so we're making um, one more house over there. That should be good. And I think we will probably be okay with the overworking situation. I'm just repeating your words, Hartnepper. You literally said be patient with probing. Uh... Oh god. Hull integrity is very low right now. Not enough alloy for repair. Yeah, so what little alloy I have immediately gets consumed. What's going on, Pistol Princess? When am I going to bring some more female apparel into your sh Yeah, I do want, I do need to add more merch. You're very right. I am currently working on some of it. I mean, I've got some ideas. Laurent's going to be working out some of it as well, because she was actually making the same comment. The thing is, though, when I look at my YouTube analytics in particular, like, 98% of my viewers are men between the age of 18 and 35 that live in either Europe or North America. No but yeah, to mine. this is definitely uh, my fault. <laughs> Loco bikini incoming. Women buy a lot more clothes. Maybe true, maybe true. You're beyond the demographic. There you go, Altron. I, no, Craxis, no. Maybe on Twitch it's different, actually. I don't know if there's, um... I don't know if Twitch gives you as much... Hold up, let me see. I don't know if Twitch gives you as much information about your demographics. 22% of my viewers are from the United States, apparently. U. S. A. U. Okay, no, sorry. Um... I don't think, I don't think they give you a similar amount of info. On Twitch. Like, Google has a creepy amount of information on everybody. But I don't think Twitch has, uh, or at least they don't publicly tell you <laughs> the amount of info they've got. Um, no, no, no. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. You were looking on a local TV body pillow? I don't sell a body pillow either. I see there's a lot of missed opportunities, man. We need a loco TV cardboard cutout. <laughs> a real size loco TV cardboard cutout. That sounds amazing. What's going on, Nut Snake? How do you find the game so far? I've played through it three times, but it's great. It's great, but also horrible at explaining what players should do. Um, this is my first playthrough so far, and things are going all right. 
But I'm pretty early, so I don't know. So I'm trying to upgrade the tech lab, which is still not done. Yeah. Wait, is it done? Oh yeah, it is done right now. Okay, no, it is done. It is done. So it's now producing passively quite a bit. Now we have to decide where we want to be spending our money next. Probe construction speed. Probes move faster? No, I need them to be cheaper. Um, what about the airlock? I waste a lot of stuff on the airlock. A probe has completed its scale. Repair efficiency increased by 5%. What does that mean? A science ship team has completed a task. Um, do you think this means that it, it consumes 5% less alloy? Five percent is not that much, man. I don't think I need more food at this point. Maybe I do, I don't know. A loco salt shaker. <laughs> Good on Gogil, thank you. Transforms ice into water. Can transform either 50 waste into 50 alloy? A waste treatment center. Dispatches trucks to put out fires? Nah. That's not necessary. We haven't had a single fire yet, and I don't intend on having one either, so I think we should be fine, guys. Not a problem at all. This is definitely not something I'm going to regret in the near future. Um, okay, so where's my ship? What are you doing there? We have arrived at the source of the signal transmission. Upon uh, approach, one of the scientists was swept away by a violent dust storm. We eventually found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears resemblance to the ones we used on the Tycoon. It is embedded within the rock face below a large promontory. There you go. I would have definitely picked the same word. The high winds are making its balance unstable. Okay, recover the archive digital data from the cargo ship and return to the Tesla. I should probably have a second research ship, to be honest. People are still overworked, but it's getting better now, okay? Slightly. Slightly. Loco blushing shirt with pro StarCraft 2 players. He fed boys over saying, ooh, ooh. I don't think we need any of that. I, I, you know what? No. Gonna come out and say that nobody needs that. Maybe you want it, but. Um, overwork. So, I need more people. The only way I get more people is by putting them in cryonic pots, right? So it's being solved. It's just been, been you know, we've been in the process of solving this for like a hundred cycles. It's not very fast. This thing is still not built, by the way. I could migrate people, yeah, but it's fine. I mean, I could migrate four people, but it's okay. No, this is the only way to make humans, Henra. This is the only way, okay? We put people in pots and there is no alternative. And if there is, it takes too long. There's no time, dude. We need people working around the clock as much as a possible. Probe has completed its scan. I think I just continue scanning, right? 
There you go. I mean, now I'm finally getting a pretty decent income again, though. Maybe moving to a different system was actually the right move. Search for traces of the Protagoras. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. I need to train colonists. So how do I train colonists? I have no idea. Do you still need three constructions? That's one factory worth of people doing nothing. Oh, I could shut these down. You're right. I mostly have three because it looked nice. Maybe that's not a very good reasoning to have people around for. <laughs> I made one at the top, so I made one at the bottom. <laughs> Stop judging me, okay? A science ship team has completed a task. Symmetry is important, guys. You don't get it. Okay, so during the return, a strong wind swept away a crew member. Not following the Dolo safety protocols. Mahandri Bemaso. Rest in pieces. In an alien system. Sad days. Okay, head on over to the dog. It was his own fault. Yo, you can't say that, Barnacle Bob. Come on, man. He's just trying his best. Uh, I'm actually gonna dismantle a couple of these. Okay. That will give me some resources back. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. So I'm gonna send over some people from there to there. We'll send over like 25. Go ahead. So that will make things a little bit better, I think, for everybody. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Again? Why are you guys never careful? I think that's because of the overwork. <laughs> 